Hello, welcome to Leadmaster. In this tutorial, you will learn how to parse leads into Leadmaster, pulling specific data fields in from emails using Zapier. To begin, log into Zapier and click Make a Zap. Zapier has a number of built-in apps, one of them being an email parser. To access the parser, click on the email parser icon. Visit the link and click Create Mailbox to add a new email parser. Click Skip Waiting. You can name the parser email address anything you want, but it must be unique and hard to guess. Let's use the address Zapier provided. Paste a message containing lead information into the template box. Next. Highlight each piece of information you need and give it a variable name. The variable name for message will be comments. Click Save and Template. Now, select Use this app in Zapier. Select Email Parser and select New Email as the trigger. Connect your email parser account. Now, select your mailbox and hit continue. We need to send an email to the email parser address now. The subject can be anything, but the body should be the template we created. Let's return to Zapier. Click Fetch and Continue. Now, we must set up our action to connect the parser to Leadmaster. Select Leadmaster CRM. The action will be Create Lead. Click Save and Continue. Now connect your account. If you do not have one set up, select Connect an Account and enter your username and password. Click Save and Continue. We will create a template with the test data. First name will be parse output name. Email will be parse output email, and so forth. We will put the entire email body into contact notes. Let's send a test email to Leadmaster CRM. Now, let's select the record ID field and copy it to search for our test data in Leadmaster. To find your test data, head back to Leadmaster. Click Search, CRM Management, paste the record number in and click Search. We can see the test data here. Note that the date in the date entered field may be different than the date of the email sent. That's okay. We are just passing information into the record. Return to Zapier. Name the Zap, turn it on, and you're good to go. This concludes the tutorial on parsing emails with Zapier and Leadmaster. Thanks for watching.